Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings, because who cares about gems when going back to colors is way cooler. Pokemon Black and White have to be the most boring names for a Pokemon game ever. Everyone told me Black and White was great for its expansive story. Uh, this first 20 seconds is not leaving an accurate impression. Like, I know it's coming later, but still. If you don't pick Oshawott for how goddamn adorable he is, then you're making a great choice because, spoiler alert, he's kinda garbage by the end. Bianca, why are you forcing me to have a Pokemon battle in my room? Everything will get destroyed! Oh, I f***ing called it, huh? Random thought, but uh, which of the three Pokemon were crawling on my walls when the only available moves were Tackle and Tail Whip? This is the chillest mom ever. The kids are all like, hey, we kind of destroyed your daughter's room upstairs. And she's all like, yeah, whatever, it's cool. Go meet up with the professor, have fun today. Saving the game still takes an absurdly long time. It's roughly 10 to 11 seconds. That's better than Diamond and Pearl, but not by much. That's not a trash can. You already know what's coming. Oh yeah. I like how Chenrin already knows what a Pokedex is. The series is somewhat poking fun at itself. But then Juniper tells us what it does anyway. Oh, come on! I like how easily you can register the town map for quick and easy guidance, but this is the Nintendo DS we're talking about. Keep the map on the bottom at all times. Greet mail, huh? Uh, isn't the entire point of mail meant to greet someone? Why have that in the title at all? I'll take 72. A complete stranger just gave me a pants here, which is exactly what I needed against Silent. I wish strangers would do stuff like this in real life. Amanita has the most gamer PC I've ever seen. It's powered by some crazy tubes and some sort of electric container thingy. The emphasis on story is very much appreciated and well done for the most part, but it does make the game drag on sometimes when you get a bunch of exposition dumps. I kid you not, you will get stopped constantly, and frankly, it can get obnoxious. Initially, I thought this started with the 3DS games, and that's why I hated playing Sun and Moon as well as Sword and Shield. But no, it really began in Pokemon Black and White. At least this game has a good story, while the new ones are just boring beyond belief. Um, one plus one is two, right? Oh my god, genius over here, Albert Einstein 2, in the room. Whoa! Seriously, guys are all just little boys. Why is the truest statement ever coming from a Pokemon game? Audino's eyes are staring into the dark pits of my soul. Team Plasma doesn't want people to use Pokemon for fighting, while their only way of gaining control is using Pokemon for fighting! Yeah, makes a whole lot of sense, guys. Gee, I don't know, maybe make a picket sign or something, vote for someone different in Congress? Wait, d does Pokemon even have a Congress? Or are they are they democracy? Are, are they a monarchy? Oh my god, I don't even want to start thinking about that. Oh yay, Padove, another bird Pokemon. We don't have enough of those. He is with a small brown Pokemon. I'm sorry, but all I could think of right now was a Goomba. What the f*** is wrong with me? Wow, I got a basic badge. Mmm, great name. Sure makes me feel special. I can only access floors 47 and 55? What the hell happened to floors 246 and 48 through 54? Wow, my reward for spending five minutes answering mundane questions is a soda pop. These surveys are just like real life. Why is this trainer T-posing at a time like this? How could I possibly forget your promise to fight you when you told me literally 20 seconds ago? Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the entire game being linear. If I don't follow most events in the exact order I'm supposed to, I get yelled at, basically. Replacing the Pokemon contest with the musicals was a mistake. I am a ball boy who collects tennis balls. Very good, Jimmy, very good. What was the transition for? The air? This Pikachu is not pleased. He needs a milkshake or something. These trainers are living the life. They get to ride roller coasters all day long and then get off just to have Pokemon battles. I'm so envious of them. Happiness is here today, gone tomorrow. There is no everlasting happiness, so don't be greedy. Okay, but like, for real? Which developer Game Freak was having an existential crisis when writing half the script? I like how deep it gets, but just damn, it's Pokemon. Nice try. I see you making another Pikachu clone. <laughs> Don't think I didn't notice a Mulga. This Fungus is just a mushroom with a Pokeball on its head. And a Moongus is the imposter. Sus. Haha, -ha. this will be hilarious three years from now. Ha 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 ha!
No. Why on earth do the newer games not have triple and rotation battles? These are awesome and a great way to freshen up the gameplay. Having different seasons is incredibly cool, but they only change once a month, which is a pain if you wanted to do certain things or events. Clink is literally just some spinning gears, that's all. And of course, I'm obligated to bring up Vanillish, the ice cream Pokemon. And then there's Garbodor, which is a pile of garbage. Okay, there we go, obligation's over. Let's be real, having nurses and doctors heal you in the middle of routes is a cool idea, albeit it makes the game easier. But what's on my mind is the symbolism of having to pay up before you can get proper health coverage, because living longer is just luxury, which is kind of messed up. Yahoo! I can't be the only idiot that took these same two cannons over and over again, confused on what the hell I was supposed to do, only to realize I could use this cannon to shoot north. The gray panel is completely camouflaged by the yield tape. You can't see it. That is not at all how that should have gone down. Alder should have jumped down, broke both of his legs, and screamed in agony. That's right, I find rocks, and then I give them to people. That's my simple life. You rock. Uh, hey, Bethaniel, I think I found your one and only soulmate. It's kind of disappointing that Team Plasma just ended up manipulating everyone about freeing their Pokemon. I don't know if this is further explained in the sequels, but it's kind of lame that the ending basically turned into Team Rocket again, but more lying. I gotta be honest, Reshiram and Zekrom are the most forgettable legendaries design-wise. I don't know what it is, I think it's just the absence of color and the lack of interesting expressions on their faces. They just kind of look like statues, lifeless and drab. Okay, hold the phone. If I can put Reshiram in my party and transfer another Pokemon to the box, why can't I do that literally any time I want? Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee did that, they had the right idea. Not only does the ending finish somewhat abruptly, but the sequence itself is just a black background. Boring. The police officer needs me to track down the seven sages, and gives me a super ride. Of all the NPCs in this game, this seems like the worst one to give me this item. At least they made a joke out of it, saying it has absolutely nothing to do with the mission. Imagine unironically using a level 60 Zubat. Just put that into perspective. I have no idea what the popular opinion is, since I'm not a part of the 1% of Pokemon fans that know every move, ability, and pixel color, but I really liked this game. It was definitely better than Diamond and Pearl for all the quality of life improvements, faster gameplay, and just more interesting story. But as Team Plasma would say, I need to liberate my furret and let it roam free. Or wait, would they say that? Who cares?